Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries Group exhibit. You're here today at the Technical Forum. I'd, uh, I'd like to invite everyone to please take a seat. There's some spots still up at the front. Enjoy a coffee, water, or juice. I'd also like to say a big hello to all of our online viewers and remind our audience that these videos are available to view uh, after the fact. You just head to the hydrogenfuelcellsfair.com and you'll be able to find the, a record of the videos there. Our next topic is online hydrogen quality measurements according to various international standards. And here with us today, we have the managing director of MCEL, Mr. Marcel Cornay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Marcel Cornay from MCEL Engineering. Um, MCEL is an engineering company we are um, providing consulting, engineering, and different services in the field of hydrogen, fuel cells, and electric mobility in general. We are based in Cologne in Germany, and we are here or working in this field for almost 10 years now. And today I want to introduce our online hydrogen measurement system. That's, uh, we provide this service as, as, as measurement on demand, as um, yeah, a, a measurement service for you. Why, why do we need to measure the hydrogen quality, the purity of hydrogen? So this is a simple question because we all want um, to be reliable with the products we're selling. Let's say you are um, running a fuel cell, a fueling station, for example, and you're delivering hydrogen to your customers. So for you, it's important to have clean hydrogen or at least specified of a specified quality hydrogen. And your customer um, want to want to be sure that you you're delivering a right and proper product. I mean, hydrogen. Uh, this example on a fueling station is just one example. You could run your electrolyzers. You could run uh, internal internal processes where you need pure and clean hydrogen. So what, what we do is we having a measurement system consisting of, of several sub-devices and we provide these measurements on site near, at your facility or at your fueling station for example where we can measure online let's say every five minutes that would be the, the rate or the tech for uh, fueling every every a fuel cell car that's coming to your fueling station and will be fueled according to to certain other other regulations within three minutes so you could measure the quality that's given to every single car on your fueling station for example this is something you we do and of course today we're talking about um, Internet of Things and so on. So we also have a measurement app that where you could control, for example, on your mobile phone or your computer at home or in the, in the, on your office, the quality that's delivered to your, to your device, to your, uh, to your customers. And this hydrogen is, uh, or this, this application also gives us the opportunity to send email messages as soon as a certain limits are reached and those kind of things. When, when we look at hydrogen measurement um, and these particular regulations, codes, and standards, like the SAE 2719 um, or the DIN EN 17124, we, it's important for you and for us to understand what do you really want to do. Why do you want to know the quality of your hydrogen? Because um, measuring is easy, is an easy thing. But finally, of course, you, you, everybody understands you have to pay for, for measurement equipment. And it makes all these machinery and uh, uh, analytic systems more um, expensive. And you could do with, sometimes you could do with smaller setups. So for example, when you look at the, the specifications that we see here on on the, on the left hand side, you see a var variety of different impurities that could be um, with it, come with your hydrogen or with the hydrogen you, your, 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 your supplier delivers to you. So maybe 
water, for example, has a totally different effect on your fuel cell and your hydrogen system than, for example, um, methane or nitrogen or so. There are certain, there are what we identified or named it, there are four groups of impurities. So certain impurities just affect your, the, the ones here on the, on the, uh, marked with yellow, just affect your hydrogen storage system because, for example, when you look at water, there are ice particles and frozen bits, hard, let's say bullet-like particles within your system that just um, doesn't directly harm the fuel cell, but the hydrogen system, while your pressure regulators, your filters, your ceilings and gaskets are harmed. And others just dilute the hydrogen here in the middle. And you have also reversible and irreversible damages that certain of these components, these impurities, provide or harm your, your fuel cell itself. So that's something to think about what do you really want to know. And then we, we, um, it's for you easier to adjust the analytics and the resources you want to use. And it's also the question of what do you really need? What kind of information? Are you fine with just knowing my hydrogen is not pure? Or would you like to know which exact contamination con is consisting in, in the hydrogen you're using or you're supplying, for example? Or do you really want to know the quantity and the amount of impurity of a certain particular substance that's delivered, maybe according to, to the SAE standard or to the ISO standard or so? Or you have your own limits that are important for you for pr your production process. So if you look at it, what does it mean just to detect hydrogen? You see here a screenshot or a fingerprint of, of uh, um, one of the, our basic measurement uh, instruments that shows a clean hydrogen, 6.0 uh, quality hydrogen. And this is easy to say, okay, it doesn't look dirty or there's no, no impurity co compared to the next picture where you see certain spots which are compared to the first one are definitely of a different quality. Or it's easy to say this is simple to detect, okay, the, the hydrogen is not pure. Another thing is to determine which substances are showing these, these uh, representing these impurities, these patches, these fingerprints, these patterns. It's the second step of analytics that you could do or you want to know, maybe. So just to know it's clean or not, or you could know also um, what substance is, is the one that, that dilutes or impures my, my, my hydrogen source. And the other thing, if you really want to quantify your, the impurity within your hydrogen, then you do a calibration with gas samples, um, one point or multi-point calibration, and store this information in your hydrogen library to know what, what substances are um, diluting your hydrogen. What, one, another word to, uh, to the web application that we provide for your mobile phone or so is so this is a web application that can control the device if you want to switch it on, switch it off over distance, well, like how internet things work today these days. You could re, um, check your, the readings of the values you're measuring, the substances you're measuring. It's, it gives you, shows you alarm limits that you can adjust and also get alarm notifications as soon as these limits are reached and all different kind of things just to handle your equipment so you don't have to be on site to, to understand and see the impurities and the contamination of your hydrogen sources maybe. So finally, in a, as a, in a summary, what, what do we have, what do we show, what, what can you use? It's a modular online hydrogen measurement system for impurities in hydrogen and that can be assembled to your needs so you don't have to use all the, um, the possibilities. It's, it, it fits to your needs. It's customized. It measures multiple impurities 
from the uh, named standards, the SAE, ISO DIN EN. It uh, also detects unknown impurities, which are not specifically named in these in, in these lists or in these nor uh, norms, like oils, like different um, substances, hydraulic oil, for example, that you would find in, in a compressor in a fueling station. So this gives you also the possibility to look beyond these standards. It's uh, very sensitive. We can measure down to the lower PPB st uh, concentration limits. So that matches, of course, the SAE standards, but in general, it's a very sensitive measurement device and, and system. You can measure online, so that what we think, even outdoor, so your application next to your fueling station, some of your electrolyzers are sitting somewhere in an industrial area. You don't have to just measure inside your laboratories, which is also, of course, possible, but uh, we think it's important to measure on site where we don't have problems with transporting your hydrogen to a, to a laboratory and measure inside one of the laboratories to make sure that you, the hydrogen doesn't transform or your impurities don't change while, the tr while you're transporting them. So for example, in steel cylinders, you will see that you have effects of um, unmixing your, your impurities with the hydrogen. So this is online every five minutes if you want to. We could go quicker if it's important for you, but so far we found out this five minutes frequency is pretty good for, for standard use of, of hydrogen, especially on fueling stations. Yeah, we have the web-based application where you could control the whole unit, where you could um, check your values, your data, your readings online. You don't need to be on site. And this is all, and we take care of this system. You could, you could get it, or buy the measurement equipment for yourself, but you, we also I think this is important for you, makes it easier to handle. We provide this as a, um, as, a as a measurement service for you. So we take care of the system, and you just get your values, and don't, you don't need to purchase the whole system. And in general, it's a robust system which, which runs indoor and outdoor and can be assembled to your needs. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here for, for, for a couple of questions. And if you want to, I'm happy to welcome you on our booth over there here on booth B78. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Cornet. Uh, at this point, if we have any questions, I'm happy to bring the microphone down so that we can all hear them together. Um, but perfect, I'll be right over. Do you mind just giving your name? Uh, my name is uh, Ying Zhang from China. I have a question. Can you uh, indicate some uh, photos about your system uh, on the screen? Sorry? Pictures for your systems aren't I uh, hydrogen test? Uh, uh, equipment system. I don't Do have, have pictures the? here, but yeah. I'm, I'm happy to show you on the booth. Okay, thank you. But in general, it's um, it's a um, outdoor cabinet, like steel. For, that's what it looks like from outside, and the equipment inside is just standard 19-inch rack design. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you all for your attention. I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye. At this point, I'd like to invite all of you who are standing around, feel free to grab a seat. We have some really exciting elevator pitches coming up. And based on yesterday, uh, the room gets a little crazy, a little crowded. So grab those seats while you can. Enjoy uh, coffee, water, or juice uh, while we wait. And we will be getting started with our elevator pitches in just a moment. Uh, this set of pitches is going to be on uh, hydrogen production and storage. We have five different companies for you today, so you can hear all the competitors and find out what, uh, what everyone's doing in new technology. So just stay tuned.